Okay, so I'm Margherita, and I would like you to think about how important it is to know the language of the place where you're here. And I managed to learn it when I was in, in the Mensa, and I managed to fill my plate with boiled liver, thinking that it was a very nice goulash. But that's another story. Um, for example, imagine that you are in a total foreign country, you don't know the language, neither the scripture, for example, and you can see something that is like this. Seems very beautiful to me, quite artistic. This is actually Tibetan handwriting. And you would never imagine that this is actually danger. So uh, it's like attention. And in this case, knowing the language would allow you to avoid a risky situation. So believe it or not, but different languages are also within our body, within our cells. And the most important, of course, as I said before, is the DNA, four letters, encoding for like the genes that are encoding for characteristics in our body. However, in the last few years, a new protagonist with his own language came into the scene, and it is epigenome. Epigenome, epigenetics, is the all of the modifications that occur on top of our DNA, mainly resulting in gene regulation. Genetic modifications are uh, unique, almost like a fingerprint on our DNA, different for each of us. And they can occur in result of anything that we do in our day, the way we eat, the way we sleep, even our emotions are shaping our epigenome. Um, and especially they are transient, so they can occur and they can disappear during our life. But this is not always the case, and sometimes they are drawing real scars of our, on our DNA, which are called epigenetic signatures. So um, a recent study, for example, proved the correlation between tobacco consumption and the development of certain epigenetic signatures that were later on correlated to uh, development of lung cancer, but like in the far future. So suggesting that these epigenetic signatures are indeed good predictors and indicators of risk of disease in the long term. And well, then research so far, um, was able to develop very, very powerful tools, uh, able to encode and decode, especially these hidden messages, uh, in order to improve diagnosis and prevention of diseases such as cancer of the lungs or colorectal cancer or cardiovascular diseases. So the final message is that being able to translate and to uh, decode this new language and also to unravel this new unknown alphabet of epigenetics can allow us to understand whether the danger signal comes in the scene and read this hidden message and in order to don't step further, but just rather stop and take measurements as soon as possible. Thank you very much. <laughs>